Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my three favorite primers that I always keep on the van. I can pretty much tackle any project with these primers. I got the spray bomb kills, which is good for little jobs. Water stains, it's an oil base. Always got to use a respirator when you're spraying this stuff or rolling it on since it's an oil base. All right, so we're going to get into it. Like I said, I've got three primers that I keep on the van all the time. That's the Kills, Guards, and a Zinzer 123 Latex primer. So we're going to talk about the oil-based primers first. Start with the small stuff. These cans, probably about seven bucks or so at your favorite big box store. I like to use those for water stains, small water stains. Uh, I also, when doing repairs, I'll spray the kills on the joints where the existing is to keep the dust off. That way you get better adhesion with the joint compound or hot mud or whatever you're using. So I love this, the spray cans of kills. Quick, convenient. I do want to say it's super crucial to wear a respirator when you're doing this kind of work and a dust mask when you're doing repairs. Crucial. You got to take care of your lungs. So this is good for small stuff. You don't want to do a whole room and use 10 cans of this. That'd be ridiculous. If, you, if you're going to do anything bigger than that, you want to use, like if you got a big water spot and the drywall sound and not where you can poke your finger through it, you need to replace it if you can do that. But if it's just a big water spot, you can roll on the kills, open the windows, get some ventilation, roll it on. And the only way to clean this stuff up if you get it on something or yourself is with mineral spirits or paint thinner, same thing. Paint thinner, mineral spirits, same thing. You want to you wanna just roll this on depending on the, if you have a texture, probably use a, a three quarter inch nap on your roller. Or if it's smooth, you can use a half inch nap to roll it out. Again, it's gonna cover water spots and it seals real good. Now there's other primers that are maybe a little better. That's a, this is an oil base. Then there's a shellac base, which is a bins made by Zinzer. That's for smoke damage and also works on water stains too. But I keep the kills around cause it's just what I like to use. Now, if I'm like, if I'm doing a popcorn removal job, I always prime those drywall ceilings with the Kills original oil-based stain blocking primer because if you don't, the tape joints tend to yellow out on you. So, and you're, if you retexture them, they're gonna yellow out. So anyways, if I'm doing a bunch of popcorn removal or a bigger job, I'm gonna break out the airless and I'll have a five gallon bucket of the Kills and I'll just spray it out. That eliminates any yellowness or anything like that. And if you do popcorn removal, you have seen the yellow come through. It looks like racing stripes at every joint. So that's no good. Customer's not happy. You're not happy. So uh, I always say that the kills is like an insurance policy for me for a nice white ceiling. Nobody likes yellow ceilings. That's the oil-based primers for water stains. Um, this stuff is unbelievable. It's a it's latex and it's great for um, Sealing brown paper like if somebody I've got a video where I went to a house and they pulled they were getting tile And they pulled all their baseboard off without scoring the top. So it pulled the paper off the drywall So what you need to do is use the guards and it seals it and locks that brown paper underneath the gray paper of drywall. If you don't do that, anytime you put joint compound or paint on it, it's going to bubble up. People get so frustrated. Yes, the oil-based kills will work for sealing that up, but not as good as the guards. The guards made by Zinzer is like unbelievable for that. So. Definitely use a guards. It's also good for wallpaper removal. So yeah, wallpaper removal, a lot of times uh, it's hard to get the glue off 
or when you pull the wallpaper, it peels the uh, drywall paper down to the brown paper. So the guards fixes that to where you can just mud over it. It is a little watery, so you want to not use a thick nap on your roller. You just kind of, like if you just got some spot areas, I like to use a cigar roller or a whizzy. Depends where you're at, what it's called. But like maybe a half inch nap on that. And like I said, it's super watery, so you want to be careful not to splatter it everywhere. Best thing to do whenever you're working is use a plastic to cover the floor, personal items of the customers. So if, even if you do have a little splashing around, it's not going to get on people's stuff. So the guards is key. Um, Home Depot used to carry that but I don't know if they do anymore. There's a, another product out there called uh, Pro 999, which does the same thing. And I know that Home Depot and Lowe's sell that. Sherwin-Williams used to have a, a sealer, it's called Drywall Conditioner. So you might be able to get some there as well. But the guards, I do have it in my Amazon Influencer store. I'll put a link to that up here shortly and maybe I'll pull that up and show you and also you can go there just to see the information and what these products do I'm kind of giving you a, a quick rundown on what they do but there's more information on these products so I'll pull that up sh I'll share the link and we'll go from there on that that's the guards love the stuff always got it in my van always use it and then finally we have um this is a product made by zinzer as well it's the zinzer 123 primer it is a latex and so uh if you're doing spot repairs or doing a bunch of repairs and you don't have the guards this works great you can just spot prime and keep moving pretty quick with this it cleans up with water just like the uh, guards does easy cleanup you use water no big deal again the oil bases and shellac bases need a paint thinner or mineral spirits to clean that up but even like new drywall I like to use this over the PVA primers that's just like putting water with a little glue in it so I like to use a good heavy bodied primer. That way you don't have to keep using a bunch of top coat. Cause you use the PVA, you're still gonna have to prime it anyway. So what I like to do on repairs for spot priming is just use the, the Zinsser one, two, three. Now if, if just for the DIYers out there, if you're just painting over a already painted surface, there's no need in priming whatsoever. So you can just start painting. I mean, if you got a high gloss or something, maybe, but just, you don't need to prime everything every time you paint. When you're doing repairs, like a, a raw material, like the joint compounds, that needs to be sealed up. Um, reason being, your paint's not gonna stick to it good. And then when you get back to looking at your repairs after you've painted them without priming them, you're gonna be able to see exactly where that repair is because the paint absorbs differently into the repair and raw materials than it does to the already painted surface because the painted surface is sealed up already. So definitely spot prime any repairs with a Zinsser. You can use any of these products. Even Guards is a good primer. You can use the Guards to prime repairs. You can use the Zinsser one, two, three and you can also use the oil-based primer for that. So those are the three primers that I keep on my van all the time. There might be some better ones. Let me know what primers you use and what you use them for. And also, if you got any questions, you can just ask me and I'll try to respond to everybody's questions. So one, two, three, Zinsser primer is the bomb. And it doesn't hurt to wear a respirator using latex primers or latex paints either. It just is kind of a pain in the butt. That thumbs up button, please. I pull up my store. It's an affiliate link through Amazon, my influencer store. I get a small commission and no, nothing's 
kick back on you or you don't pay more is the same price as it would be. Yeah, so here's the store and I've, I've kind of got it at the beginning, the kills. Here's the bin primer, which is a gallon. Also have the spray bin, which works like the kills, water spots, smoke, all that. I've also got the um, respirator. I've got the respirator right here in the store. Here's the guards. Here's the Pro 99.9 RX35, which is just like the guards. Zinzer 1, 2, 3 latex primer. It says it's a stain blocking, but it really doesn't block that many stains. I also have a plaster weld. If you're going to be using a joint compound, doing repairs or something over a plaster, you want to go ahead and use this product, the plaster weld, because there's different compounds within plaster and that's going to seal it up. Got the never miss, which is a, you add color to your mud. So when you go back to sand, if after you've done touch-ups, you know where you've been because after you do touch-ups without that, then you don't know it all blends and looks the same. I, I do have a video that I put out where I use blue chalk in my joint compound and that pretty much works the same. This is a better alternative. I've got asbestos test kits for anything. Like if you're working on something that was built before 1982, you want to test it for asbestos and lead. But asbestos, they stopped making it in the U.S. or putting it in paint or popcorn. Popcorn ceilings are notorious. They stopped putting that uh, asbestos in in 1978. But the manufacturers were allowed to make a backstock, which took about two, three years to get rid of. So I just say 1982 to be safe. So you never want to disturb a popcorn ceiling that was applied before 1982. Uh, we also have a lead test kit. Uh, you always need to check that. If, you're, if a house has plaster, you definitely need to test for lead paint because that was in all the paint. Also before 1978, there was a good chance that there could be lead. Um, Back in the day, they used the lead-based paints for trim. A lot of door frames, doors, and baseboards have that. Got the knockdown texture sponge for small repairs. Got plenty of videos of that. I've got the Lexan knockdown tool. I've got the patches six by six that I used in that uh, I punched the wall video. If you haven't watched that video, there are some crazy comments in the I punch, how to repair a hole punch in the wall video. I've got tools, walk boards, green glue for soundproofing, 20 minute mud. These receptacle uh, patches are awesome if you do miscuts or anything. Super easy to use. Heat guns. Compressors, hoppers, the Delco banjo. I've got everything you need. Here's the roller nap that I use to roll on skim coat. So go check it out. I'm sure. Here's the paint paintbrushes that I use, the Purdy three inch. Flat. I don't need a fancy brush. I don't need an angle sash. I don't need any of that. I can cut in anything pretty much with the three inch purdy. Lambskin rollers. Thank you so much for stopping in. Go check out my Amazon influencer store. Bam! And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos.
Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.